Well, last week, the football season kicked off for many Iowa high school teams. That included Des Moines Hoover and North High Schools. Des Moines football teams playing their last games tonight, though, after the school district announced yesterday a stop to all sports and in-person activities starting next Tuesday. Local 5's Matthew Judy is live at Roosevelt, where the Rough Riders are set to play in just a little bit. Yeah, certainly a bittersweet day here at Drake Stadium. Roosevelt getting set to play East in week two, but they don't know how many more games they will have with sports and activities being shut down next week. Joining me now, Roosevelt head coach Mitch Moore. And uh, coach, you hear this decision come down yesterday. What goes through your mind when you hear that? Well, I, I think, you know, obviously right away you were disappointed. You felt for the kids and, and, and you wanted to try to find an answer. But, you know, as every every head coach should do, you just you look to what you got to do next. And the next thing we've got is our football game tonight at 730 uh, against the East. And, you know, we've prepared for the last five months to play this football season, right? And, and so that's what I told our guys tonight. What, nothing's going to take away from that preparation and what we've got to do tonight. And we've got to go um, prove to – Proved to everybody that we're the program that, that we're trying to become, and that, that, that takes place tonight. So in terms of what I've told our kids, um, we found out as practice was ending yesterday, we were disappointed. But, um, you know, just like we do every 24 hours before the game, we, it's, it's, it's business for us. And so we've approached today, this morning, our walkthrough, our, our team breakfast, just like we would every other, every other Friday morning. And, and our kids are focused as they've been. So You mentioned it's business. This is probably a little different than any yeah. other pregame speech you're going to have. How are you going to handle this? Well, you know, it is. And, and, and to say that it isn't would, would be a lie. And so, you know, I've, I've, I've certainly brought our seniors and, and, and told them this is, for some of you guys, this is a job interview, right? This is another opportunity for job interview you to show the college coaches that will be watching around the country tonight or the ones that are going to be in attendance that, that you're a good leader, you're a good football player, you're a detailed athlete, you know, and so you've got another opportunity to show that tonight. And then for the younger guys in our program, you know, our goal and our mission is, is to, to bring state championships back to Roosevelt. And so this is another opportunity to continue to build our brand and continue to do things the right way. And so we've got another opportunity to take the test tonight. And, and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to tell them that. And, our guys, we're, we're practicing tomorrow morning. So, you know, whatever the outcome is tonight, we're going to be there tomorrow morning. We're going to be there Monday. And, and so um, I'm going to coach this football team until they tell me I can't. And that's where, that's where we are right now. I think that's a good attitude to have. Coach, thanks for giving me a minute. Good luck yeah, tonight. Thank you. These. I appreciate you having me on. And uh, that game kicks off at 7 o'clock. Roosevelt and East, we will have full highlights on the Blitz, as well as about 14 other games from the area as these teams get ready for what could be their last game this season. Live in Des Moines, Matthew Judy. Local 5 News, we are Iowa.